Once you discover your purpose, your purpose is what leads you to conviction. Conviction. You see, you can never live an impactful life if, you are a, if you live a life of no conviction. Conviction. Nelson Mandela puts it brilliantly. He says, it is an ideal that I hope to live for because nobody wants to die, is it? But he says, I'm so convicted that if necessary, I'll die for it. My question to you, what are you willing to die for? Because you're not ready to leave until you are ready to die. Conviction then leads you to the next step, which is vision. It is your conviction that then generates this vision. Vision. What is your vision for life? What is your vision? Have you got a vision that's written? Or you just simply exist? Now, why is this so important? Your passion then leads you to inspiration. Martin Luther King stood at the, next to the Lincoln Memorial and says, I have a dream. And that speech has lasted generations. We are all inspired by his passion. What is your inspiration? Who do you inspire? Who are you? Why are you here? Why were you born? Why are you still alive when others have died? How is your family different because you exist? How is Sun International different because you work there? How is South Africa different because you exist? How is our continent different because you exist? And how is the world different because you exist? I could answer that question because ever since I left corporate to do what I do, I have touched over 10 million people across the world. In fact, I touched more people in the eight years that I've been doing this than I did over, in over 40 years of my life. Because there's something about walking into your purpose that makes you so impactful, you can't even explain it. So it is in my interest that you fully manifest. I come from a country where we have one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the Victoria Falls. There are seven natural wonders in this world. They write about them all the time. As far as I remember, I'm the first person who's written about the eighth wonder of this world. And you're going to meet that eighth wonder of the world the moment you get in front of a mirror today. I want you to walk to that mirror, look at the person on the other side, and say hello to the eighth wonder of the world, because that's what you are. All this sounds nice, isn't it? But how do you get there? So I'm going to give you an, an equation that will help you as you go through. Number one is growth is equals to? This is very important. So if you make your life about avoiding change, you effectively make your life about avoiding growth. So here are three questions you'll answer after the, under this. What do I need to change so that 2019 could be a better year for me? Number one, in terms of relationships. There are relationships you need to disconnect from so you can connect to other relationships. So you need to work through this. What do I need to change in terms of relationships? What do I need to change in terms of my thinking? Because you can never rise. The thinking that got you where you are today is not the same thinking that will get you to where you need to go. And of course, the third one is time. The use of my time. You want to change your life? You change the use of your time. I want to tell you something. You will be the same five years from today, except for two things. The books you read and the people you meet. Your degree means nothing if you stop reading. So you need to read your way into the future. Change is equals to what? So most times, it's not the change we are trying to avoid. We are trying to avoid what? Loss. Some of you are in dead relationships. They died 10 years ago, you're still sitting in there, complaining about the same thing. Why? Because you're afraid of losing what? The drama. So now, the question then when you live here is, what am I prepared to lose in order to move to a successful 2019? What do I need to lose? Again, three things. 
relationships, time, and thinking. Loss is equals to? Would you agree with me? All right, so pain. Now, this is interesting. Pain. How many of you like pain, by the way? Who likes pain here? Ladies, how many of you have got more than one child? Let me see the hands. So why don't you put up your hand when I ask you who likes pain? <laughs> Listen to this. They say that's a different kind of pain. Can I challenge you? I wake up every morning. And one of the first questions I ask is, where is my pain? And if there's no pain in my life, then I go on to create pain for myself. I need you to get this. Now you're going to see how... Now, if you do not create pain for yourself, Mother Nature will do it for you. And I promise you, when Mother Nature does it, you're not going to like it. So those of you who did not change, set up stretching goals for 2019, I'm willing to bet that Mother Nature is clapping you now. To be brilliant at what we do, it takes what? Pain. Pain. I want to close on this point. Uh, let's, let's summarize. Let's summarize. We said that it's good to know that you're the eighth wonder of the world. But in order to fully manifest, it's going to take understanding what your unique, irresistible difference is. Right? So harness your unique identity. Harness your unique what? Talents and gift. Develop them. Then deploy them in pursuit of a life of purpose. Take leadership of your life. From this day forward, make a conscious decision to become the hero of your life. Can I ask you to stand, please? I want you to stand. And I want you to close your eyes. Don't worry, I'm not going to lay hands on you. And I'm asked the DJ to, to play a beautiful song. I want you to listen to the words of this song because they really sum up what I've been trying to talk to you about. It's called